We're here at the 2022 Ironman World Champs and that means it's expo time. And that means it's tech tour time. Let's go see what we can find. Oh yeah. Now this might be the most talked about piece of new tech at Kona this year. It is the Headjet 180 and as you can see, it's about the deepest wheel you've ever seen that isn't a disc. And that's because discs are not allowed at Kona, but deep wheels are allowed. So Head have taken it to the extreme with their 180 millimeter deep fairing on this wheel. And I say fairing because it's actually built on an aluminum rim uh, with this carbon fairing over it, uh, the Head Jet 180. And technically it's not a disc wheel and you're gonna see some of the top pros riding it. Uh, this is Leon Chevalier's and it's actually got his name scribbled in permanent marker on there. Uh, it also has Steve and Anne head signatures on there, which is also a pretty cool touch. Yeah, it's a pretty nice wheel and I imagine it's gonna be pretty fast in those crosswinds, as close to a disc as you can get. Uh, if I was a pro and I wasn't riding this and I was riding my 80 or 90 millimeter deep rear wheel, I'd be pretty jealous of someone riding a 180. Well, the Vision Stand has provided some pretty good tech over the years for us at Kona. So we've come by again and it hasn't failed to provide. So we've got the TFE bars, which have been out for a while now with their forearm rests. They've got them in a number of different sizes, but we've got these here. They are custom made for Roglic with a very cool finish to them. This is actually the 3D scan and model of Roglic's arms in those aero bars. And from what we're told, they're actually gonna be making these a full mass-produced product, and again, in a number of different sizes. So you could be riding on the same bars that Roglic did. And also something else has caught my eye whilst I'm here at the Vision Stand. Whilst it isn't particularly new, it's been out for a few years, we've got the Metron 4D Mass Road Handlebars here. And the reason they've caught my eye is because they've got these little covers towards the middle of the handlebars and they're covering some little bolt holes. Now, if you take those covers out, you can then attach clip-on aero bars. Well, not clip-on because they attach directly to the handlebars. So you're turning standard road bar setup into suddenly a very aggressive and aerodynamic setup. In addition to that, with this particular setup, we've also got this updated Vision Metron Aero Bottle too, which has got the computer mount extended out the front. Check it out. Okay, now we're here at the Hyper Ice stand with their Normatec, and as you can see behind me, a few people are comfortably getting their legs compressed by the Normatec 3, uh, which everyone's pretty familiar with, the Normatec boots, which are uh, offer graduated compression, medical grade compression. Well, they have a new product and it's this, the Normatec Go by Hyper Ice. Now this is designed to be something that you can use on the go. Basically you use it in your car, you can use it in the plane. And what it is, is a sleeve for just your cough or even just your quad. Uh, and it has graduated compression, which uh, they all have. It, ha it pre-calibrates to your leg size. So you get that perfect compression. Uh, offers seven levels of compression and completely portable so the whole device attaches to your leg no wires or anything like that and you can use it on the go uh, the kind of thing you can use in a plane when you're traveling over to a race like this and you can't take your large Normatec boots with you it's basically a compression sock on steroids as you can see there's someone behind me using it already and that is uh, Mark he looks way too comfortable we've got a lot more work to do so Mark come on mate you can't sit there all day Mark wake up You're just gonna keep that thing on and wear it all day, walking around the expo. So we're here at the Ceramic Speed booth and they don't actually have new tech. We've seen the OSPW Aero before. We saw it at St. George earlier this year and it was released in June at Eurobike, but we've been uh, sneaking around the back and we've actually found some really cool things here that we're not actually allowed to show you yet. The pros themselves haven't seen these special editions. So what we have is special OSPW arrows with custom paint jobs. So there's one for uh, Lucy Charles Barkley, matches her fancy new Cube Arium C68, uh, and it says Racing Girl is back, which is really cool. And then there's another one here, which is even cooler, which is for Annie Haugsbach, and she hasn't even seen this yet, and it's got Hawaiian decor on it, if you can get a look at that. 
that is super cool. I'm gonna put it back before someone sneakily takes a photo of it and, and spoils the party. And then there's another special edition one for, if you look at the flag, you can probably predict who that's for. Yep, Magnus Ditlev. Pretty cool. So these are gonna go on the pros box in the next 24 to 36 hours before they race. Uh, the guys will be installing these on a pretty cool custom tech here at the Ceramic Speed booth. All right, I know James has found some pretty cool tech over there, but that's not all that Ceramic Speed are offering out here in Kona. Because if you wanted to get one of the OSPW Jockey Wheel Aero Systems installed on your bike out here in Kona, they're offering something really cool. So their aero cover has got this special graphic on there, which can be seen on some of the ceramic speed staff here. And it's got a one of the flowers basically, but it's actually got the Kona Island in one of the petals, which is pretty neat. Also within the price of getting that jockey wheel system, also get a chain. And I've got to do this just because, I mean, we're starting to be a stand up. <laughs> Who was it better, eh? I think I'm actually looking smaller Thanks, thanks. Huh? Well, now I'm done fanboying, let's talk you through some of the stuff here on the Trim Tech stand because we've got some exciting news. This suit that has been worn by Christian Blumenfeld for the sub seven attempt, and obviously for his Ironman World Championship win in St. George, is now available for pre-order. And we've got it here. It's the insane suit. What separates this suit from so many of the others is its thermo cooling properties. So they say that through the layup and just the makeup of this suit, they've managed to improve the cooling effect by 125%. Wow, it's also incredibly light. And of course, on some of these suits, you've got the turbulators on the top of the arms, uh, which you can see here that helps to improve the airflow over the suit. And of course, as we've seen, it's been very, very successful with Christian Blumenfeld. The top end of the price range is of course, more for a custom fit. So Trimtex will work with you to find a perfectly fitting suit, full on custom, but we're not finished there. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, we have our own GTN version of the Trim Tech suit. What do you think, Mark? I love it. This is going to be available in the GTN store. Of course, we're going to be wearing this from now on. Yep. Maybe not for the rest of this video. Of course you want. For to. all the races that we do, we'll be wearing this from now on. Do we do races, Mark? We're definitely going to have to now. <laughs> we're going to have to now, yeah, definitely. But yeah, as Mark says, available in the GTN store for you to own. And I think it looks great. It definitely feels great. Uh, Mark, if you go do a triathlon, I'm definitely not wearing it all day though, Mark. All right, another thing we've noticed here at the Tech Tour is uh, these Zip 858 NSW. Now, we actually did a video on these recently. They're not actually releasing here, but they are the, kind of the first time we've seen them out in the wild. And in fact, the Zip Triathlon Academy, all six of their athletes will be riding the Zip 858 NSW in Kona this weekend. Uh, and they are a pretty fast wheel. In fact, they may be the optimal wheel for the Kona course. Uh, just the right depth, just the right aerodynamics. Uh, they're a really nice wheel. And we can see the, those wheels here on Jan Fredino's bike. Obviously this bike we won't be seeing out on the lava fields unfortunately this year. Jan obviously injured, uh, but we will be seeing the, these wheels on some other bikes out there this year. All right, I'm really excited about this and you know it's pretty special when it's being camouflaged, don't you? This is specifically Florian Angert's bike. It's the Cube Arium C68. And yeah, it's a new bike, specifically with disc brakes but there are some additional features that are new on this bike. Now this bike is actually first developed and in production in around 2015 or 2016 with the Raylet brothers. And it's a phenomenal bike. It hasn't actually changed masses over the years because it was so good way back then. But yeah, we've got disc brakes now. Rumor has it, it may have additional hydration that we can't currently see. And we've got a large area down here, access on the other side, Maybe it's in-frame hydration. Also understand there may be some changes around the front end that make it a little bit more adjustable. I can also see two bolts up here. So I imagine a bento box behind this hydration system. But yeah, we'll just have to see on race day. Whoa, stop there. Now, just after filming with Florian's bike there with the camouflage paint, which also Lucy has been riding on, we've been presented with this. Now this is the actual bike that Lucy's gonna be riding on for the Ironman World Championships with a slightly different paintwork. 
and a blimmin' nice paintwork, if you ask me. It's a chrome pink finish with glitter in there. They've also sort of outlined the contours and the edges, which looks amazing in my opinion. But I can confirm now, and you can see it yourselves quite easily, we've got a straw here and a straw here, meaning that we've got the straw going down the down tube here with a bladder down here in this storage area here by the bottom bracket. It's around 750 mil in this particular frame size down here. We've also got 750 mil in the front hydration there. You can also see obviously she's got two bottle cages on the back there. So there is ample hydration storage on this bike. Um, but yeah, really nice bike. But do stay tuned because we're doing a full pro bike feature which you'll be seeing on this channel very soon. All right, we come by the hunt stand now and we've got some brand spanking new wheels just released last week we've got some 48 mil depth wheels and some 60 mil depth wheels and these are part of the limitless range and they are insanely light in part due to their carbon spokes but also they've got a channel cut out through the widest part of the rim and that's filled with polymer just to help with the structure and the shaping of the wheels but i can confirm even the 60 mil that is insanely light of course this isn't the set of wheels that some of the pros are going to be riding on out here in Kona because behind me we have the wheels that were actually launched ahead of St George, the wheels that we're going to see probably Ruth Assel riding on this coming weekend. These are the 7387 aerodynamicist wheels um, and they've been designed with Kona in mind. Testing has been done out here in Kona on the roads with the conditions that athletes will experience this weekend in Kona and these are the wheels. Well, what a day in the expo. Yeah, that was fun. Love me a tech tour, but that's only halfway through because we've got another tech tour coming up. Oh yeah, we are only scratching the surface. So stay tuned for tech tour part two from here in Kona. Yeah, if you haven't enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss part two of that tech tour.